Hello YouTube and welcome to my first tutorial ever. Today I'm gonna show you a little trick to do a sky replacement in After Effects. And I do have uh, this footage right in front of us. And uh, I took this footage uh, with my drone last summer. And here I fly over the mill. And as you guys can see, we have the landscape and the mill, the landscape and the sky. The sky is a little bit uh, blown out in some areas. I wouldn't say it's too bad, but uh, for the sake of this tutorial, uh, I'm going to replace it with another uh, picture of a sky. So let's get going here. We need to track this footage. And uh, to do so, we go back to the beginning and we go and grab uh, our tracker tool right over here. And just in case you don't see uh, your tracker uh, anywhere on your display, you go to window and down to tracker and make sure this here is checked. All right. So we come to our tracker and uh, we click on, uh, we highlight our footage first and click on track motion and then make sure position and scale checked. So you got position and scale. All right, now we have these two little squares in the middle of our footage. I'm gonna zoom in to see it better. Okay, right over here. We got our uh, two tracking squares. So we need two points to track and the best two points you can track since we're replacing the sky is uh, should be in the horizon over there and uh, you pick any two contrasty points I'm making the squares a little bit bigger so we give ourselves more uh, space to track I'm gonna pick this little uh, peak over here in the landscape and another one over here and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, analyze forward this button over here Okay, so now uh, After Effects is tracking our footage and uh, these two points shouldn't move much and if you see any sudden movements like way off, you have to correct it yourself manually. Uh, so far so good. I'm going to fast forward this. We don't need to watch the whole process. This will take some time depending on your computer speed. Okay, now that we are done tracking, um, I look back at the, our tracking information and I see that the two boxes are sticking to our footage. If we zoom back out, we can see it much better. Um, the whole thing is a little bit jittery, but mm, it looks okay. I mean, shooting a 24 frame footage is, is really hard to track, uh, 24 frames per second. So I would suggest that if you want to do this and you know in the back of your mind before taking the footage that you're going to uh, replace something or tra uh, do tracking, make sure you shoot at least 30 or even better 60 frames per second. Okay, so I got my tracking information here. Now I need to create a new null object. So I right click here in this uh, area. I go to new null object and uh, we're going to go back to our tracker. Click on edit target. Make sure null object is selected and click OK. Then go to apply. X and Y and click OK again. Okay, now we have our uh, null object moving with our footage and it shouldn't be just floating over there. It should be, it should move with our footage just like you see on the screen. 
all right now it's time to bring our picture down and double click in the project and this is the picture we're going to use looks like it's from a sci-fi movie all right let's import that and we're going to bring our picture down to our time line and uh, we need to uh, draw a mask around our the area that we need so we do of course we don't need the whole footage only need the upper part of the footage so I draw a mask around that part I'll make it look like this okay so now that we got the sky make sure your uh, footage is uh, 3d layer and track to our null object here's our null object so if we move this around our picture should move with it too okay all right now we need to uh, scale the picture okay move it in the y space choose the green arrow and move in the Y space and line it up with the horizon uh, to see better you can click on it and uh, go to opacity or, or choose your layer and click on P and you can see opacity appeared you can lower the opacity down to see better uh, to make all the lines disappear and this is a quick tip to make everything disappear control shift H everything disappeared and now you can uh, see where the line is and then decide where you want to leave your horizon at I'm gonna lift it up a little bit over here looks good bring it back to 100% oops needs to be lower yep needs to be lower uh, like this maybe all right, now we're going to feather the line, the edge of the horizon over there. It's too sharp. Okay, so click on your layer and click on M. You should see your mask appearing. Go to feather, feather the picture down a little bit. I think it blends much better now. Okay, let's play our footage and see what happens. play better if I choose half and then yep it's a little bit jittery that means I need to go back and fix some of the tracking information especially in this area right here I'm not going to do so but if you guys want to you can open your null object right here you get the position and the scale and this is all your tracking information right over here. You can alter these, uh, you can zoom in and change them individually or like choose a bunch of them, delete and rotoscope yourself or uh, track manually, track the sky, you start moving it a little bit at a time. But that's a time consuming process. All right, now, um, one thing we need to do is to color grade the footage so this is the color grading part we're done with the tracking and the sky uh, to color grade means to make everything blend together and as you guys can see here the sky is so blue and the landscape is, is more reddish and uh, green um, so we choose our footage our original footage layer go to effect color grading or color correction and lumetri color lumetri color is my favorite after effects plugin you can really color grade an entire movie with this plugin 
So you can go to basic correction first and maybe raise the exposure a little bit right over here. Um, I'll bring down the blacks and make the whites whiter and also the highlights, bring up the highlights a notch and the contrast. So now we have more dynamic image and if we go to our color wheels that's where the wheel walk is actually it's really simple uh, we need to add more blues so we need to add more blues into our original footage so we go to the shadows we add some blues we bring this line down towards the blues and same thing for the highlights more blue and the highlight area the highlights are these areas where it's uh, shiny and bright the shadows are the dark areas and the mid-tones are everything in the middle like the smell for example for the mid-tones I'm, I'm not gonna add blue anymore I'll add more maybe counter it with some orange and red uh, because you don't want everything to look blue right Okay, so it looks like we have a scene from a movie. I'll add more clues to the highlights real quick. Some more in the shadows, okay. All right, this is our final footage. Uh, let's take a look again at everything moving together. Okay, so this is what we have now. And in a second, I'll show you what we had before. So this is what we have now. And if we remove the lumetric color and if we remove the sky, this is what we had before. After and before and after. Okay. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe to my channel for more future videos like this and have a great day.